Welcome everybody to this week's devotional. My name is Jonathan and I'm happy to be with you whenever you're watching this. Let's discuss compartmentalization. That's a big word. Compartmentalization. It's what we do in many aspects of our life to separate things out, oftentimes so that we can make sense of all of the different situations and environments that we exist in. Like we have our work, and we have our family, and we have church. For, for many of us, that's a part of what we do. And sometimes we separate these things into categories that never cross. At church, we listen to spiritual things, and we sing the songs, and we read the Word of God, and we talk to people about God. And at work, we're focused on providing for our family and making money and just getting through the day for many of us. And at home, we got to focus on our family and we got to cook dinner and all the things that go along with that. And for, for some of us, that's how it works. That spirituality exists one day a week or maybe once a year. And the rest of our life is devoted to other pursuits. But God doesn't call us into a one-day relationship. He actually wants to spend more time with us. And, and truly studying the Word of God and entering into that re relationship brings spirituality into every aspect of our lives. God wants us to be all in with Him. And I know what some of you are thinking. Like, Pastor, you don't know where I work. Like, there's no way that I can be spiritual at this work. Like, the people swear all the time, or it's just so money-focused, or, it, you know, we have different values, so, so it's impossible for, for me to do that. And, and so I just separate it. You know, that's what makes sense. But Jesus never separated his work. In fact, he spent a lot of his time in atmospheres, in places that seemed unspiritual. He was eating with tax collectors, certainly unspiritual. You know, he was sitting down with, with lepers and with prostitutes and with sinners. He was at the carpenter table. And he also spent time in the synagogues, in the temple, in all of these religious settings. And in every place that he went, he carried with him his mission. That mission to demonstrate the character and the love of God for each person. To save souls, to call people to redemption, to heal. This was so important to him that actually when, when God gave us the word... And when he was giving the first law to Israel, he included these phrases that encourage us to allow our, our relationship with God to impact every area of our life. In Deuteronomy chapter 6 and in Deuteronomy chapter 11, it says almost the same thing. And I wanted to read for, to you from Deuteronomy chapter 6. And we'll start in verse 4. Hear, O Israel, and we can insert ourselves there. Hear, Jonathan. Hear, the, therefore, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with a little portion of your heart. No, with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. And these words that I command you today shall be in your heart. You shall teach them diligently to your children. You shall talk of them when you sit in your house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise. You shall bind them as a sign on your head and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. That the word of God, that the love of God and our relationship with him should be on the front of our mind every time we blink. It should be what we talk about 
at our meals, what we teach our children. And I'm not saying you have to be that crazy person who just talks about God nonstop. But it should impact each conversation, each area of your life. I want to encourage each one of you to look at how God is impacting your life. And I want to encourage you to to take this word that we have from him and that relationship that, that God wants to have with you and allow it to impact every area of your life. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for desiring a relationship with us. You want to be with us in every part of our our life. And so, Lord, I pray that we will commit our lives, our whole lives, our whole heart and soul and might to you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.